Hey kiddos, so today is a research day. I know it's a little different than we normally do, but the reason I did that is because I need everyone to end up on the same page on Monday. So we will all be doing research day Thursday and Friday. I'll have plenty of stuff on this slide that you can go through and write about and think about. And later on, I'll also include a math game day slide too, where you can pick games on that to play. So what I want you to think about today when you do your research is, we've been talking about how animals behave. We talked about humans' behavior, and we also discussed what the word behavior means. So remember, the word behavior means just the way something acts. What do you see it doing? Okay, behavior always has a reason. And when we talked about behavior as a kid, we talked about how maybe your parents say, hey, make sure you behave yourself at the grocery store, or we're going to grandma's tonight, let's make sure we behave at the dinner table, right? Behaving as a human is the way we act. It's the same for animals. Animals behave certain ways, they act a certain way, but they do it for a couple reasons. One has to do with where's their food. The other one is where's my water. The other one is how do I protect myself. And another way to think about behavior is they're thinking about how do I make more of me, okay? So in all of the activities and all of the links today, you're gonna see a couple things. Um, one of the links is a video about how animals find their way home. That's a behavior, right? Think about that, they don't have a map. They don't plug the GPS into their, like we do in our car, to get where we need to go. They have like an internal map, which is really cool, so you're going to like that video. I also want you to get into Epic Books, one of the collections that I have, the collection I assigned to you. Remember, you go to Epic Books, click on the bell, and the bell has all of the books in it. And the um, collection I assigned to you was Living Things Behavior, and I want you to go through, and there's a bunch of listen to reading ones. There's a really cool video I put in there that has to do with a parrot that was rescued. Now think about this, an animal who's rescued, his behavior, and when I say rescued, it means he was hurt and now he's living um, with humans. His behavior has to change, right? Because he used to be wild and now he's almost like a pet. So his behavior has to change and he has to learn to trust humans. It's a really interesting video about how animal behaviors can change based on where they live and what they're getting. The other one I had for you was a video about, did I have another video? I think that was it. So kind of click around the page, find everything you can, and make sure that you pull out, show Mrs. Wyback your discovery. I really want to know what you learned. It's so simple. Draw a picture, add some color to it, tell me what you learned, okay? Because I'm going to be looking at those when we come back together, all right? So have fun learning today more about animal and living things behavior, and I will check in with you on Monday.